The Hulk challenges the gods. A team of Hulks have just ended the Chaos War, saving the lives of countless innocents, but they're still just seen as monsters. The war took a heavy toll. Rick Jones is injured. Betty Ross is losing her mind. So Bruce Banner goes to the one person he thinks can help. Bruce Banner, what are you looking for? You tell me. You're the Allfather, Hercules. Not any longer. Hercules had just defeated the Chaos King, helping to restore the universe and save billions of lives. Well, I did what I could. But you forgot about the Hulks. The Hulks might be among the strongest beings in the universe, but they've taken a beating. Rick needs to be healed. When Betty is in her Red Hulk form, she's even crazier than the Hulk. And Korg and Scar just need to find a place where they can belong. Bruce begins to break down, sobbing in front of his godly friend. I've tried, and I'll keep trying, using science or muscle or whatever I can, but I'm so tired, and you're just brimming over with all this ridiculous magic. Fix it. Fix us. Hercules sheds a tear for his broken friend, but he was telling the truth. There's nothing that Hercules can do to help. He's no longer the Allfather. I gave it all up to restore this world. If I could, I would help you today in all the ways you ask. Bruce didn't come here to be comforted. He came here for help. Just tell me who's in charge here. Father Zeus has returned to his throne atop the Mount Zeus. Good. Bruce stubbornly stomps away, heading directly for Mount Olympus. But Hercules offers Banner a final warning. If you you but irk him, he will kill you. Bruce stares Hercules dead in the eyes. He's not afraid. So be it. But Bruce asks one final favor. Hit me. The demigod punches Banner with all of his might, sending him soaring into the distance. But he rises, transformed. Thanks. Godspeed, old friend. Hulk begins to march toward the mountain, and the water begins to rumble. And like arrogant Perseus, who fought the sea's lord's monsters to save a mere girl, another foolish hero rises to challenge the gods. But how would you fare against mighty Poseidon himself? Poseidon, the god of the seas, appears amidst the waves. He raises his mighty triton toward the man who challenges the gods. Prepare yourself, monster! Ready when you are, water boy! Poseidon thrusts his triton into the sea, causing a wave so great that it washes away the Hulk. So brave! So blasphemous! So doomed! Hulk careens out of the water, crashing into a rocky mountainside. So much for the new age of heroes. Whatever. Never called myself one of those. Hulk hides out as Poseidon turns his back, thinking about his next move. Suddenly, a flurry of arrows sticks in his back. Hulk's found his next challenge, Artemis the hunter and her ferocious dogs. The dogs rush toward Hulk, who quickly snares their necks with his massive fingers. Hulk begins to crunk their skulls, slowly, as a threat. Like your puppies, lady? Back off, or they're done. What kind of hero are you? Artemis lowers her bow, allowing Hulk to pass. He drops the dogs and leaps away. There's that word again. Ha! Now you laugh at the gods? Hulk continues his trek towards the Allfather Zeus. He fights through the freezing winds of Boreas, a man on a mission. Hulk cannot be stopped. Fine, hero! Meet fierce Apollo and burn! Apollo's eyes light up like the burning of a star, blasting Hulk with the force of the sun. Still, Hulk rises to his feet. Stupid guy! Gods, keep this up and you'll burn your whole city down. Despite Zeus's warnings, Hulk marches on. None of the gods or beasts or creatures of this city can slow him down because I'm the Hulk. The world has finally offered up a new mortal. With the ancient hero's valor, strength, passion, arrogance, and spunk, Hulk runs toward the mighty god. A bolt of lightning stops him, sending a hundred million volts through the Hulk's body. Hulk looks up to see the all-father he's dared to challenge. I hate spunk. Hulk is only seeking to help his friends, the same friends who are currently two leagues away battling sea monsters. Gonna need a bigger boat! You think this is funny? Just trying not to cry, Betty. Don't cry, Jennifer Waters. Fight! The Hulk needs our help! The beast begins to capsize their boat, but the Hulk fights on. They make fun of Hulk's moronic decision to climb the mountain and take on the gods himself. Scar isn't impressed. Gods? So what? We fought every monster and demon and Scar you don't understand. She's cut off when a bolt of lightning illuminates the sky, its thunder ringing in their ears. Hulk has just met Zeus. Gods are a little different. One of those gods inspects the Hulk, who just got hit with enough electricity to kill a thousand men. Hulk begins to open his eyes as Hephaestus points out the obvious. The monster still lives. Let it stand.
end Hephaestus. Hulk weakly rises to his feet. Hera, wife of Zeus, threatens their intruder. For surely, beast, even you understand now that you must walk away. Among mortals, you may be the strongest one there is, but Father Zeus could vaporize you with a thought. Hulk, who had just got handily beat by a vastly superior being, says the unexpected. Then Zeus would be a coward. Zeus turns to Hulk as lightning pours from his eyes. Say that again. Zeus stands tall, shooting lightning from his hands. The sheer force of thunder knocks even Hulk backwards. Now you've done it. But Hulk is not intimidated. He reminds Zeus of the time that the Chaos King had defeated Zeus not too long ago. If we Hulks hadn't helped smash him, you'd still be chained in hell. You owe us. Indeed. But I doubt you'll enjoy your reward, for I remember you. Zeus in turn reminds Hulk of another battle, the time they battled the giants who had escaped from Tartarus. After Hulk had helped the gods, he felt sorry for the monsters. And turned your back on me. Zeus sheds his cloak, handing it to Hera. He begins to stretch his muscles, crack his knuckles, and flex his godly biceps. Husband, what are you doing? I'm granting this blasphemer's request to be beaten to death by hand. But before he can, Hulk sneaks in a cheap shot while Zeus's back is still turned. When you're fighting a god, you can't always play fair. The incredible punch sends Zeus flying through his palace. The people of Mount Olympus watch as their all-father crashes through the temple's pillars, falling square on his backside. You filthy little- Hera struts over with a smile on her face, happy that her husband now has an excuse to reveal the extent of his powers. An oath to a monster means nothing. Incinerate him. Zeus seems to agree. He clenches his teeth as he generates a bolt of lightning, flinging it toward the Hulk. Instead, the bolt lands short of Hulk, cracking near his feet. Zeus is a god of his word. The word of Zeus. Your terms, beast. Hulk smirks, ready for a fair fight. Little less talking and you might. Zeus's powerful punch shuts Hulk up quickly. Zeus lays the beat down on Hulk with his bare hands, just like he promised. With every punch, lightning seeps from Zeus's pores. More than the god of the skies, the god of the thunder, the god of lightning, Zeus is, above all, the god of gods and man. And right now, he's proving it to this intruder. The other Hulks down below watch the beating, still in a fight of their own. Suddenly, they see something crashing toward them. Oh no! Zeus just flung Hulk off of his mountain, crashing into the other Hulk's ship. Hulk begins to climb back up for round three when he notices his son nearby, this close to danger. Scar, what are you doing here? She-Hulk begs Hulk to give it up, but he ignores her. Get out of here! Without hesitation, Hulk leaps into the sky directly towards Zeus. Again, the other Hulks plead for him to stop. Shut up and run! This is my fight! But Zeus is prepared. He corrects the Hulk. No, it's mine! Zeus bashes Hulk's face into the ground, plucking him out of the sky. Before Hulk can stand, he takes another blow to the ribs. Green blood pours from his mouth as Zeus launches him across the mountain. Hulk vomits more blood. He's defeated, and he knows it. Hera walks up to him, ready to taunt more. Your ribcage is shattered, and your lungs are collapsing. This is the end, monster. What? Whatever. D doesn't change anything. Just give them what you owe them. Hera's eyes soften. Them? Hera gently grabs Hulk by the chin and stares into his eyes. The goddess sees into his mind. He sees his family in pain. Your family. Misplaced monsters. Broken and tortured. So all of this? To save their souls? There's little empathy in her voice. This is a joke to her. A silly little monster trying to do the impossible. Hulk drops his head as she continues to mock. You don't even believe in God. Yet here you are asking for miracles. Offering yourself as a sacrifice. Dying for other people's sins. Wrong religion. Hera is cut off by her husband, who returns to strike a few final blows. The Hulk challenged the gods, and he lost. Mother Hera warned you, but you mortals never listen. The Hulk's eyes closely open as he faces Hephaestus once again. He looks around. Hulk finds himself in chains. You can't break these chains, beast. Make me mad enough. Hulk weakly tugs at his chains, but they don't budge. Hulk just went mono a 
motto against the most powerful god of Olympus. It'll take a bit for his strength to return. And your wounds will only heal fast enough to keep them fed. Vultures begin to pick at the Hulk's open wounds, tearing him up from the inside. He screams in pain. He's being eaten alive. For three days, Hulk sat in chains. His body healed every time a vulture snatched out an organ or an eye, healing just fast enough to be caught in a vicious cycle of torture. But on the third day, two arrows came in to break that cycle. The vultures were dead. Hulk's savior had arrived. Her Hercules, fool, you're too weak. Don't worry, old friend. I'm just the opening act. Hercules' backup appears from behind him. The Hulk's, Korg. She-Hulk, Scar, and Red Hulk here at the last moment to save Hulk from the god's wrath. They break Hulk from his bondage. Scar lifts his ailing father. It's all right, we have you now. From afar, the All-Father watches his son betray him. Your son helps his friends and defies you again. I know you will indulge, Hercules, as you always have, but Zeus has the long game in mind. The Hulk knows my power now. Never has he been so gravely wounded. Long months will pass before he forgets my wrath, and in truth, he brought his true punishment upon himself long ago.